Hi! <laughs> so we being very literary people yes. growing up, we wrote in diaries. So yeah. we decided that we're gonna read out of each other's diaries to relive some of the cringe of our dramatic selves yes. in high school. This one I remember contains some pretty dramatic shit. I just have like weird fruity like essays about myself I wrote in <laughs> high school. So I found them on the computer and so Shelby will be reading mine and I'll be reading hers. I'm excited. Cringe. I'm excited. <laughs> Okay, I'm ready. Here you go. Today was in the bushes at school. <laughs> Wait, Sounds why? Silly, right? <laughs> why was I in the bushes? The trees were very pointy and snagged some holes in my sweater. Whatever. So far the day was going okay. As I like, climb in the bushes and trees in high school. I'm not usually one taken with nature, but I saw one of my favorite parts of it today. Little birds bathing in a puddle of water. <laughs> they are so sweet and precious, dipping their heads into the shallow pools. It sounds like a satisfying clicking sound of some sort. Ew. Their feathers ruffle and their bones crack a little, making this sound that I can't even describe. Ew, I'm like creepy. Like, what was that one book about the guy? <laughs> like, gonna, like, like, destroy the bird, like, rip the bird's know. heads off. I hate to love him. I need to get away from this place. Go to Mexico. Find some hot Mexican dude or something. <laughs> and then in quotes, love is needing to be loved. John Lennon. Oh, such a wave. Mm -hmm. Most of all, I love to sing, act, draw, write, read, watch movies, and play video games. <laughs> I, like I like to <laughs> sing, dance, <laughs> pretend. I also have other interests. I have some other More. interests. Most songs from musicals are usually my favorite songs, but Miley Cyrus and the Jonas Brother also have my favorite songs. Help me. <laughs> Most of my favorite things include, again, Disney, Kingdom Hearts, or musicals. Remember, anything Disney, Kingdom Hearts, or musical related is the key to my heart. That's a reference to Kingdom Hearts, isn't it? <laughs> I guess. Things I like. Converse. Mexican boy. No! <laughs> Drawing. System of a Town. Lace undies. Oh my god! Gwen Stefani. <laughs> <laughs> Black. <laughs> Just wrote Black. The Beatles. <laughs> Crash. My flag hit the ground and I stopped. My heart beat fast, sweat dripped down my face. Ew. Okay, I'm sorry, but like, Color Guard was not this dramatic. I know! But... Well, like, this is from, like, when I auditioned for Color Guard. The only reason I decided to try out was because one of my good friends, Bethany, who had been aspiring to make the team since her brother joined band, was trying out. Try out! Don't be afraid! Try something new! I'm doing it, you can too! What is Bethany? this, Dr. Seuss? <laughs> so then Elise says, I don't know, she sighs. I'm really not good at sports and stuff. I'm going to hit people. <laughs> this is actually pretty realistic so far. I felt like a thick boulder, unable to move and stretch with the dexterity that the other girls... <laughs> Suddenly, I jumped as the music began for <laughs> Suddenly, our dance routine. <laughs> just said I messed up and dropped, causing a commotion by making crashing noises with my dropped flag and tripping and falling all over my side of the room. Was this literally what happened? <laughs> Maybe. I smiled though, making myself feel proud and confident, even though I was the complete opposite. So you're like <laughs> having a shit fest with a smile on your face. <laughs> to look at the results the next morning. I jumped out of bed and dashed to the computer where the results were posted and clicked on Internet Explorer as fast as I could. The internet seemed to take longer than it had ever before. <laughs> internet Explorer! It was the beginning of summer last year when I decided I was attracted to you. Lauren and I were on the phone. And we decided, it being we had ne neither dated anyone before, that we would each choose a boy to pursue our junior year. You were on my mind and you were who I chose. Ooh, how special are you? Like I chose you for my twisted game. <laughs> it's easy to be so brazen while making a plan, but everything changed when Bandcamp rolled around. <laughs> <laughs> everything changed when the Fire Nation had died. But alas! It's like, are you William Shakespeare? I had forgotten the pool party! The band camp pool party. I came in as insecure as possible. I could be skinnier, I thought. Maybe I shouldn't have worn a black event sevenfold shirt over my suit, I thought. Why does that matter? Like, why the Aww. whole, it's just like if I was so bothered by it, why did I do it? Just as I was about to say something, you left. 
for good. I should have said something sooner. I had been intimidated by your bare chest. Oh. I'm and, such a fucking horn dog. cute moles. Cute moles? <laughs> what were my interests? <laughs> cute moles and bare chests. This goes on for a while, eight pages. It goes on for eight pages <laughs> front and back. Uh, since the pool party, I had done my best to give you hintful looks, hintful looks. Hintful looks. It's like, looks. but is that hintful or is that blatant? Like, that, what's yeah, that is a little hintful. hintful look. This might be more of a hintful look. Like, I knew it was my last chance. I came up next to you when I spoke before I could debate whether or not to. Hey, is your name Quan? <laughs> yeah, he answered unquestioningly. <laughs> I'm I'm just being it's his name. <laughs> Is your name Quan? And it's like, um, yes, unquestioningly. You're in a band, right? Then you smiled, combing back your hair with your hand. Finally, you said, yeah. <laughs> I hadn't expected you to say as much as you did. <laughs> <laughs> he's responded to his name <laughs> and I felt like you had come right out of a romantic comedy starring Mark Ruffalo why? because <laughs> Mark Ruffalo knows his name <laughs> and Mark Ruffalo's like yeah my name is Mark Ruffalo it's like, are you Bruce Banner? no I'm Mark Ruffalo <laughs> you had barely finished when I made my exit I probably could have at least told you my name or something. <laughs> like, you're like the mysterious woman. They may just really impressed by people that can actually say their name when they fucking talk to someone they've never talked to. I had never felt so excited. Why? At like one literally, time. it was the best day of my life. It's the best day of my life because I fucking told someone their name. Like, <laughs> yeah, the senior year, beginning of senior year. So the title of this piece is "Homebody and a Gamer Girl." Most people begin their personal statements by writing they can from a horrible family background, poverty, divorced parents, or even being orphans. Jesus Unfor God. Unfortunately, I can't say that to win pity points. Did you turn this in? <laughs> yes! You turned this in to get into college. That's so like- I like, really hope I didn't send this into a college. They would have been like, what a white bitch. I know. Also, I don't really like academics. <laughs> <laughs> Just is, saying. This is like really not, I really hope you didn't turn this I know, into I know, I really hope. That's that's why, that's why I went to like a community college now. <laughs> because, because of this. No other schools would accept me. From my average home life, probably destined to become a simple businesswoman. <laughs> Those simple businesswomen. <laughs> my average but extremely stable and strong family background has shaped my dreams of becoming a video game designer. My family shaped my dreams for the future by showing great love and never judging me. I have done things they wouldn't have expected or wanted. <laughs> Such as color guard, advanced I don't even want to hear this. And dating girls as well as boys. I'm just a <laughs> whore, like enlist, enlist with your AP class. <laughs> I know. I what really influenced me is my inner creativity. The first video <laughs> game I ever played was Play School Puzzles, is, and it was awesome. <laughs> it was awesome, you guys. It was lit. Video games are not just mindless brain suckers. <laughs> they teach morals as well. <laughs> Sometimes evoking as strong emotions as if you were reading a novel novel about someone with cancer. Specifically, video games are like reading a novel with someone with cancer. No! I feel emotion pouring out of my throat. Are you throwing up? <laughs> That's what I was thinking! Whatever comes next in my life, whether it be this college or that, I'll be ready because I have the strength of my family, my world, and art to back me up. After all, I have a pretty good sense of humor to go off too. I once colored my arms with brown markers so I could be Curious George. <laughs> what the <laughs> Why is that there? <laughs> I don't know. Oh wow, she's curious George. Bring her into the Ivy League. April 17, 2010. Everyone thinks I'm crazy. Well, just like usual. <laughs> but this time, I'm not actually crazy. I'm the one who gets it. I love Muse. <laughs> you might just think I'm going through a fad. Maybe you think I'm just a hardcore fan, but no. No! <laughs> Stop fucking judging me like that because that is not it at all. <laughs> See, not I'm at all! How could you possibly understand what Muse means to me? How can I describe the emotional connection I have with Matt's voice? Of course you don't know. You weren't here. <laughs> This is so bad. No one was here. Probably. When I was alone, I wasn't alone. Because I fucking have voices that I'm talking to. I had muse. 
When the tears roll down my cheeks. This is so dramatic. I know no one will possibly understand. And so I go. And so I go upstairs. Oh into my own cave. I'm making Muse references as I'm doing this. They represent what I feel. I've always been by myself, but now- Because I apparently can't talk to people and say my name, like there's a reason. But now they're always with me. They are my private world, my escape. Oh, stop. It's like the Wonder Pets episode where I make Beatles references. Of course, I acknowledge the fact that Matt is one of the sexiest men alive. <laughs> Well, I don't disagree now. So. Yes, that their guitar riffs are fucking awesome. <laughs> Everyone complaining about how too hardcore the Suicide Squad fanboys are. This is so much worse. <laughs> like, the <laughs> dead of night. <laughs> like, you're, like, possessed by Matt Bellamy. Like, like, Muse and I are on a level that you can Muse never Muse and I? They're, like, a person now? So when I cry because I can't see them perform live, I'm not overreacting. <laughs> yes, I am. A part of me is dying inside because I can't even be near the only real thing that's ever loved me. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Inanimate music. You can be intimate with music, but you can't be physical. What? And so sometimes the tangible is what we need the most. I can't fuck the music, like unfortunately. Anyone deserves to go see them, it's me. But how could I prove it? <laughs> I think this proves it. Small drops of black ink fall into clear water. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh. I have never seen anything as mysterious and hauntingly beautiful. <laughs> to me and my eyes, it was magical. Like a black swan. Were you, did you take drugs in high school? No. I just imagine you like concentrated on this. I like watched this YouTube video of like ink going in water. Light and dark become one in this simple <laughs> mix of liquids. I thought about the mixing of darkness and light, but it can even be thought of in a weird sexual way too. The penetration of blackness into the innocence of the virgin clearness. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Dropping ink into water it's just awesome. I'm going to try it myself instead of just watching videos of it. Maybe I'll see some weird thing in it and it will inspire me to do something. Like kill a family. <laughs> I really feel enlightened about you. I mean, mine, I felt like were a weird kind of persona. So I feel like they weren't as enlightening, but possibly in the future, I might have I feel like I learned a lot about you actually. Really? Years. I mean, I feel like I learned about this whole ink thing. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you've changed so much. I really hope so. So no, but I can for say. the better. Just to add a little lesson spin on this, you know, everyone look, you know, you look back at your high, Shelby's like cringing over <laughs> there. And if you are still in high school or younger than that, look forward to being more mature and living like that's just a moment. These are all in these journals and things. They are all fleeting moments and happiness will come in the future. And if you're writing stupid, pointlessly depressed shit about a band you like, then maybe it's time to talk to an adult. No one understands!